right folks so here's the dealio 4 gigahertz is what this is going to clock up to got real temp open temps it's already seen um, this is at 4 gigahertz this is like when I logged in and turned opened up real temp so it was at 4 gigahertz it was at 38 celsius 43 celsius 37 and 41 minimum of 29 31 30 29 so that's pretty good pretty much the same thing as being seen on speed fan so we're gonna run prime 95 do a blend test some of everything lots of ram tested and we're gonna go so ram's getting going we're gonna see what happens to the temperatures We are up at 4 gigahertz. So far these temperatures don't really worry me at all for 40 for 4 gigahertz. That's really pretty good. Just running the tests now. So this is 4 gigahertz under full CPU load. It's barely even hitting 55 Celsius. This is with the uh, Zalman CNPS 9900 uh, CPU heatsink in a Cooler Master Half X942. I used the Zalman Super Thermal. ZMSTG2 thermal grease. Getting a little bit hotter temps now. This is from running it for a little bit now. Still, that's really pretty good. And before, when I was using the uh, some old Cooler Master thermal paste that was from last fall, it's June now, it's mid-June 2011, and that was, it was Cooler Master High Performance Thermal Grease from last fall, and I was seeing these temps while idling at 1.6 gigahertz, so it's definitely a huge difference. Tests are of course still going, CPU at full load. Heat is not even a problem at all. I'll come back with more after it's been running a little bit longer. Alright folks, so it's been about 13 minutes since I started Prime. We are going well. No crashes or anything, I guess. It's even better. These temperatures have not changed much. The maximum has gone up a little bit, but still pretty good temperatures overall. Still going 4 gigahertz. It fluctuates by the points. So, 4 gigahertz, CPU at full and temperatures are still low to mid-range 50s and even hitting 49 on some cores. Seems like some cores don't have as good connection to the uh, CPU heatsink, but that doesn't matter as much because it's still really cool for being under this load. So, so far CNPS 9900 by Zalman, very good heatsink on air. Alright guys, so uh, Crisis and not Crisis, Prime 95 has been running now for about, I will say, 32 minutes. The uh, 8K test just ended around a minute ago on all four cores. We are, I get the mobile champion out of the way. Still at CPU full usage. No core is hitting 60 yet. A couple of them are close, 59. Still in the mid 50s. One is pretty low. 
and of course 4 gigahertz. So this is looking pretty stable, pretty good. In some of those, if you have like an older case with lots of dust, I'm sure the heat would add up much quicker. But of course, yeah, full power cases help. We're going to run for another half hour and call it a day. Alrighty folks, well, it's about been one hour since I started the uh, Prime 95 work. It's still going right now, but I'm going to stop it probably right after I uh, finish with this filming. As you can see, temperatures have barely changed at all. The maximum hasn't moved much. We got a 54, 60, 59, 57 across the board. Let me uh, just do a quick average of that. That's an average of 57.5 degrees Celsius. So like 57 to 58, of course. Um, yeah, CP is still at full power, full usage. And this is still going at four gigahertz. So it's honestly pretty damn good. And now we're gonna watch how quick the temperature goes down. I'm gonna stop Prime 95 right now. Pretty impressive how quick it dropped it down to the mid 30s. That's what a good heat sink will do. <laughs> so, zero errors and warnings across the board. And we're back down to 1.6 gigahertz on not even a volt of power. Averaging mid th low mid 30s Celsius. So oh, that is for the that is the CPU test for the um, Zalman CNPS 9900 with uh, the Zalman Super Thermal Grease. I'll have more soon.